It's my feel good breakfast show. Well, welcome back. This is your feel good breakfast show. It's Expresso on SABC3. Now, earlier, just before the break, we saw Jackie Ramage take us through a little bit of a, a workout showing us how high intensity self defense Tabata training can be done in four minutes in the comfort of your own home. Now, we are about to sit down with her and chat a little bit more about her personal journey and this time with breast cancer, which is also why she refers to herself as a cancer commuter. We also talk about her decision to proceed with a double mastectomy and how working out has helped her keep her strong mental determination and peak physical condition. Jackie, you know, you have an incredible story. And before we did the fitness, I asked you to give me a quick rundown of what to expect. And I wanted to ask you, have you always been passionate about fitness? Has that always been part of your lifestyle? So yeah, I must say um, it has been, but I'm passionate about educating as in general. Mm. So uh, any topic that I'm, I'm given, I, I'm really passionate about imparting it onto somebody else, whether it be within my profession, whether it be at home with my kids, uh, whether it be in my workplace. Um, yeah, I, I really enjoy educating and empowering people. And um, we also just have to inform that everyone that the images we're about to show are of a sensitive nature. So parents and guardians, Please just be um, mindful of that if there are any children watching. Now, Jackie, you're a mom of two, you're a wife. How, how did life change when you received your diagnosis? Uh, it was quite surreal. Uh, you know, the darn thing about cancer is that it doesn't choose a race, a gender, ethnicity. Uh, it doesn't choose your culture, your religion. It doesn't choose where you live. Mm -hmm. uh, so it, it really, it changed dramatically and only that I would find out later in the process. Um, I'm, very mu I'm very proactive, um, I'm very keen on getting things done. So my first inclination was to write my questions, tick my boxes, make sure that everything was done that needed to be done and the fallout could happen later. And do all your research, I'm assuming. Do all my stuff, yeah. So look, I'm, I'm a medical professional. I'm, I'm a, a pharmacist by profession um, and an educator by passion, as I said. So I had knowledge already. Mm. And you know, that, that is often a blessing because you know what you're going into. And sometimes it can be a curse because you also know what you're going into. Yes. And so you know what you're up for. And <clears throat> when you made the decision to go for a double mastectomy, what, what encouraged you to make that decision? research mm -hmm. and um, positive media but I knew in terms of cancer the the probabilities of it coming back and I wasn't going to go through a whole process of chemotherapy radiation surgery with a possibility of it then coming back um, my my breasts had been used I'd breastfed both of my children um, I wasn't planning on getting any augmentation or any changes so that was the exciting part is that I thought well you know if this comes along now I might as well just do it and have them both replaced it, it was a no-brainer for me to have an elective double mastectomy okay and you know I, I, I really admire your your ambition and the way you approach everything that is thrown at you how did you change your lifestyle because um, you said when we were doing our fitness segment how you have to preserve your energy how your energy levels change and you constantly have to adapt how did you make those changes? I took time. Um, time is the biggest gift you can give anybody. Especially yourself as well. Yourself. And you know, we live in this immediate gratification world mm. where I don't have time, I'm too busy. And before you know it, you're in a spiral of being too busy and, and not making time for yourself and for other people. And through this process, I've become way more patient. I've become a lot more mindful of a space. So me two years ago sitting here would have been all up in a frenzy and, but I'm now, I'm mindful, I'm in my space, there's nothing else I'm thinking of. I'm here, I'm with you and I'm reveling in the moment. I'm not thinking about what happened last night or what's to come in the day. You're in the moment. I'm, I'm right here, I'm and here. Did Tabata help you with that? Absolutely. Fitness helped me, I fully believe, uh, recover from the cancer and the chemo quicker and handle it better. Mm -hmm. um, it also helped me make better mental and physical focus decisions. Um, the day I was diagnosed, I phoned a photographer and I said to, said to them, you need to photograph, I want to document my process professionally. 
And it was, that in itself was a commute, as coined by one of my, my group survivors as well. Uh, she doesn't call it the journey, she calls it the commute. Because you're always up, up and down and backwards and forwards. Yes. And Jackie, just to end off, you know, for other women or loved ones that's going through something like this or perhaps a little apprehensive, what would you say to them to encourage them? Reach out. Speak to people who have been through it. Find linkage to care. Um, I'm very passionate about awareness and doing a lot of work for awareness and linking people to care. Um, there's so many people in the public and the private sector who just don't know where to start. They don't know what questions yeah. to ask. So reach out, link out, link yourself to care, find people who know, find a support system. There are many, many out there. Um, and, and, and empower yourself with knowledge. Knowledge yeah. is absolute power. Knowledge is power. Well, thank you so much, Jackie, for sharing your inspirational story. Jackie will be hanging out with us for another part of our fitness segment, so please don't go anywhere. And if you'd like to get support during your own journey with a double mastectomy or to make a query, you can always email Jackie on operationspongeboob at gmail.com. Those details are currently on your screen.